Some people believe that elderly employees are more useful to a company, while others believe that young employees are better. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. When examining the contributions of different age groups in the workplace, contrasting opinions arise. While some individuals emphasize the invaluable experience and expertise that older employees bring, others emphasize the fresh perspectives and adaptability of younger employees. In my view, both age groups possess unique strengths that can contribute to a company's success. However, the decision ultimately depends on the specific needs and dynamics of the company. There is a group of individuals who believe that elderly employees are more useful to a company. They argue that older employees possess extensive work experience and a deep understanding of the industry. These qualities enable them to make well-informed decisions and provide valuable insights that can contribute to the company's success. Furthermore, their years in the workforce have allowed them to develop a strong professional network, which can be leveraged for business opportunities. For instance, an elderly employee with decades of experience in the finance industry may possess valuable industry connections that can benefit the company. Through his extensive network built over the years, he could have established relationships with key stakeholders, such as high net worth clients, financial institutions or potential investors. By utilising these connections, the company can access new opportunities and foster strategic partnerships that contribute to its growth and success. On the other hand, there are those who advocate for young employees as being better suited for a company's needs. They argue that young employees bring fresh perspectives and innovative ideas to the table. Their exposure to the latest technologies and trends enables them to adapt quickly and efficiently to changes in the market. Additionally, young employees are often more open to learning and acquiring new skills, making them valuable assets for companies undergoing digital transformation or seeking to explore new markets. For example, a young employee with a background in digital marketing may have valuable insights into reaching younger demographics through social media platforms. In my opinion, rather than viewing age as the sole determinant of value, it is crucial to recognize the diverse strengths and advantages that both elderly and young employees bring to a company. Older employees contribute invaluable experience, industry knowledge and extensive professional networks, which can lead to valuable insights and business opportunities. On the other hand, young employees bring fresh perspectives, adaptability to new technologies, and a strong inclination to acquire new skills. Therefore, the most effective approach is to create a balanced workforce that harnesses the wisdom of older employees and the innovation of young employees. To conclude, the value of employees in a company should not be solely determined by age. Both elderly and young employees bring distinct qualities that can contribute to a company's success. By recognising and harnessing the strengths of both older and younger employees, companies can create a dynamic and thriving work environment that fosters innovation and long-term success.